Yo, what's up guys? Uh, no listener question today, but I just wanted to tell you about this really interesting book I just started and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. It's called Sacred Contracts by Carolyn Mace. I think she calls herself Mace, but it looks like Miss. Carolyn Mace. And in the book, I have just started it, and I'm really curious as to what your thoughts are about this concept. And I find it really fascinating, really interesting idea. And the premise that she starts with is that every instance in our life, every circumstance, every place we are at a particular time, every experience we have, every person we meet, everything that we encounter and experience on a physical level was set up before we came in, before we existed in the human body. And we set them up as contracts in order to accomplish a certain goal. And it's really interesting because I come from a very Christian background where, um, you know, it says that God created us and we're basically created in the womb um, and we didn't exist prior to coming to the earth or being born. Um, but what a lot of people uh, that believe that do believe that will bring up in the Bible, it says somewhere in I think the book of Revelation that um, God, I think, says before I created you, I knew you. Or some, something to that effect. Um, so a lot of people point out to the fact that you know maybe biblically uh, reincarnation is true. I don't know really. I haven't died. I haven't experienced any of that, so I don't really know. But I'm I'm curious about this idea that we made sacred contracts in order to um, let's just say, for example, this is true and the whole reincarnation thing is true or whatever. Um, but I'm I'm curious what your thoughts are about the idea of sacred contracts and every person and every event and every circumstance and situation in our life is something that we set up and contracted with other people uh, in order to for us to learn a particular lesson in order for us to develop whatever personal development growth there needed to be in order to accomplish whatever it was that we set the contract up for. So, you know, for example, if you get into a car crash um, and you break your legs, um, her contention is that prior to coming to Earth, we set up these sacred contracts where at this particular time in life, uh, we were we agreed for this to happen um, for a particular reason. So I haven't gotten far enough into the book yet to know why um, or to learn her thoughts on why um, she believes that we or do these things and how she knows. I don't know how she knows this stuff. I don't even know if any of this stuff is true. Uh, you know, it's, it's like on our radio show. I don't know if half of what everyone says is true is true. Um, but I love entertaining ideas, and I love uh, just seeing, exploring new opinions and ideas about things. So I'm curious to see, it seems to make a lot of sense to me that we would do that, because um, there, there, there seems to be a lot of uh, answers in that, because we can explain a lot of the good things that happen to our lives, and a lot of the bad things, seemingly bad things, if you put these labels on events. Um, so it seems to make sense that we would um, manifest these circumstances in our lives so that we would, we would um, develop the intestinal fortitude, the moral character, the personality traits that we would need in order to overcome and to accomplish certain goals. So a really fascinating question. I'm really excited to go through uh, her book, More Sacred Contracts. I'll put a link to it below. Um, and also, if you guys are curious as to what books we read, I'm a voracious reader. I love reading as much as I can. Um, I, I share all those on our Instagram account, so I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in following us there on Instagram. But I'm curious what your thoughts are. Do you believe in reincarnation? Do you not believe in it? Do you think that we do develop these these sacred contracts? Is there a reason why we're, we're living in 2015 right now versus 1915? Um, why would we be living now versus then? Um, you know, interesting questions. So curious what you guys think. I'm really interested, interested in this kind of idea, this kind of information. So curious, comment below and let me know what you think about this. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.